As the spear system master Tony Blair would say, a lot of our guys when they're jumping up into the rings, they have epic fails. So what we're going to do is we're going to help you take those epic fails away. And one of the things that we discovered was that people didn't even know how to tuck up to handstand. And this is one of the basic progressions that we've set up in the past, how to get up into the handstand. And uh, we're going to do it with some straps and we're going to hang the straps on these little plates and these plates are going to act as stable surfaces that are going to mimic the rings later on. Um, so the first thing we need to know how to do is a tuck up to handstand. Tuck up to handstand is this, this. Feet together, hands down. Can I jump, maintain a tuck position? Can I jump, tuck, and then extend my legs into a handstand? I should be able to have a tuck up to handstand. If I don't have a tuck up, we're in trouble. The next thing you need to have is a tuck up to handstand, but once you hit the handstand, instead of having your feet together, we're just going to split them a little bit. The reason we need the split is because when we do the tuck up to handstand right here, we're going to need that split to support our legs against the bands. So let's see if I can do this. First try, feet together, hands down. I put my hands right by the straps. This is the ideal situation because we want it to mimic the rings hanging from the straps. Feet fairly close to the rings or fairly close to the anchorage point of the strap. All I'm going to do is tuck up and straddle. Straddle. If I straddle and fall through, what's happening is these straps are supporting me right now. And to reverse this thing, I just do the same thing. Tucked out, feet together, done deal. Just that, suck the oxygen out of me. I guess we're at altitude here in San Francisco. So that's the first thing. Can you tuck up, straddle? support. If you have that, now we're going to start wrapping around the straps. It's very simple. Tuck up, straddle, wrap around the strap. Now I'm very connected. I can almost let go of my hands. I'm so strapped in. My butt is literally on. So that's wrap number one. That's the safest wrap you can do. Legs are in the front. I wrap around and I literally grab it with my foot. This next strap, this next wrap on the strap is a little bit different. How it goes, instead of having our feet on the front of the strap, we're gonna go to the back of the strap. So I'm gonna do it this way. Tuck up, straddle, wrap. One leg is wrapped in tight, I let go, and I come all the way to the other side. Let go, come all the way to the other side. Now, the straps are the inside of my feet. I'm not looking at the ground, I'm always looking into infinity, and I'm just feeling the straps right there. How do I get out of it? Same way. Tuck down, feet to the ground, reverse it. So those are your different types of tuck ups and wraps. You need to have those three movements. Straddle, strap all the way around, and strap on the front, which is just strap on the inside of the foot. If you got those three, you're ready to move on to the next step. Get it.